So, this is my friend, John George von Gerichten. Thank you, Mark. How are you? Good to see Good. you. We've known Good each other you. 25 years. He's a decent cook, and sometimes we cook together. And I asked him to come here because, as far as I'm concerned, he is has created the best dish I've eaten in the last two or three years, which is, no, come on, this very is kind, really great. Kind. How would you describe this? I mean, it's like a, it's like a crispy sushi. So, we, we cook a rice mm -hmm. exactly like sushi. So, we use a... Nishiki rice, Japanese rice. So that's rice. short grain or medium grain rice? Short grain rice. Yeah. And uh, we cook it in a rice cooker with uh, some kombu, you know, the... Kelp, the yeah. Umami of... Uh, yeah, seaweed. Amazing. So we put the kombu, the rice, a little bit of salt, water, mirin, on Japanese rice vinegar. sweet sake and, right. and rice vinegar. So exactly like the seasoning of a sushi, but you put everything together. You know, I, like you, I know you like everything <laughs> simple. So we throw everything in a pot and cook it for 20 minutes. On, uh, in a rice cooker or on a stove, right. uh, covered up. So very simple. Yeah, you the want it to be thing. a little mushy, huh? Yeah. So you overcook it a little bit. Overcook it a little bit. So usually yeah. rice takes 18 minutes. We cook it 20 minutes, and then we overnight. So this you can prep a, a day ahead. So you you spread it in a sheet pan. And on you, you really press it in. Press it down yeah. overnight in the fridge or uh, at least two hours, and then just unmold it. Cool. Voila. Very nice. <laughs> So oh, and it's so sticky. It's sticky, it's sticky. But you it's see, like after, glue. <laughs> I know. Usually I use a, you know, knife has to be a little... Uh, so you're dipping it in, in water. hot water? Hot water, yeah. So and that keeps it from sticking? That's correct. So, so you have enough here for 60 servings, right? No. We're going to make less. We're going to be, we're going to do a little less, but uh, probably enough for 10 people. The way you eat, maybe less. Right? <laughs> <laughs> These I can eat. Yeah, so we cut them in a little rectangle. Here, you want to put that... It's like sticky rice. It really is. So you cut them in a, like a little sushi, sushi-like squares. Then what I do, uh, uh, I dust them in. Uh, mm, they're good. You taste the taste the, the mirin, mirin and the, the vinegar and the kombu. Yeah. Then I dust them in uh, rice flour. Rice flour, not wheat flour. That's correct. Rice I know flour. you like to fry in rice flour. I just see it keeps it more crispy. You know, it gets a really uh, that beautiful uh, crispy edge. I mean, you could use regular flour as well, but. Let's stay in the rice family. So just very, that's it. Very fine coating. That's correct. And that what kind of oil? Let me guess. Grapeseed. Grapeseed oil. Yeah. My favorite. And then we're gonna just deep fry them. Three seventy-five. You said. Three seventy-five. We'll turn them, move them around a little bit, but you really want them crispy. So we take a couple of minutes here. You could shallow fry too, but then you have to flip them uh, like four times to make sure all the all the corners are are ready. Our toppings today for our crispy sushi is a scallop. But you can use uh, sliced salmon, avocado, amachi, tuna. And those are great diver scallop. I just want to open one. One by one. You can see their eyes. Yeah. And actually, we, you can see here, there's a row in there on this one. And then you just scoop it out. I like to use a spoon for that. Now and all of this is guts. So the only way to... Uh, you can see that big scallop on the end. The only thing we have is that a little piece of meat left. Here we go. This is why scallops keep much longer out of the shell than other mollusks, because you get rid of all of that guts. So you just have a piece of muscle here. It keeps as long as, as a piece of But a beautiful fish. size, huh? Yeah. Beautiful size. So we're done with this. So my rice is ready. So nice and golden. Maybe Mark, you want to chop a, a little bit of a scallion? Yeah, if, I, if you're not going to tease me about it. I have to it. give you a, a knife. I use that one. Yeah, great. I mean, the way I do it. <laughs> I'm not going to tease you. <laughs> so here's my, my crispy rice. You can see how golden it is. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Then we're going to add a little bit of uh, this sauce. The first, there's two sauces. The first sauce is um, chipotle mayo. Okay, so you make that by, you make a regular mayo. With? Egg yolks with uh, lime juice, orange juice, uh, grapeseed oil. On, uh, add a little bit of uh, chipotle abodo, adobo, which is in a... No, in in the the from the can? From the can. Okay, so chipotle, um, orange juice, lemon juice, or lime juice? Uh, lime juice. Yeah. Orange juice, lime juice, chipotle, and a normal mayonnaise. With rice vinegar? Rice vinegar as well, okay. for seasoning. So uh, I'm adding a little bit of, a, of the... But here you could take bottled mayonnaise and put some chipotle and a little bit of lemon juice in there. You'd you know, be okay. uh, once I had a home, I tried, I just put mayonnaise with a little bit of sriracha. Pretty good too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's yeah. good to know. Yeah. Then we're going to add a little bit of uh, your scallion on top. Is that all right? Yeah, perfect. Just a You're being so nice to me, it makes me a little No, no, no. It's <laughs> so a little bit of scallion. Here we go. 
Then we're gonna add some uh, of the sliced scallop, very thin. So scallop, salmon, or... Um, so really with one scallop, you get four, six of these? You yeah. get a lot. You get a lot. I mean, those, those scallops are pretty big. You can use base scallop as well. I know you like your Nantucket, so. Yeah. Is it Nantucket or is it? Yeah, Nantucket or, or Chatham, Cape Cod, or Long Island has base scallops too. Great. So here we're gonna brush it with a little bit of the honey soy. So that's light, light soy, honey. What else? So it's just a balance of a sweet and sour. We're gonna add a little bit of micro cilantro. Yeah, that's a little over the top, but okay. Or regular cilantro. Thank you. I know you like the herbs to be a little bigger. And then just for freshness, we're adding a little bit of mint. So this is a great uh, canapé, or you know, you can sit down on... on eat four of them so by easy, yourself. Easy sushi. You want to try one? Are you going to eat one? Yes, if you want to. If you have one, I will. <laughs> I, mean, yes. I know finger how great you know? these are. Yeah. I mean, I've never had it with anything other than the scallop. I'm going to try it with avocado. Delicious with avocado, nice with salmon, tuna. Shrimp. Shrimp. But the crispiness and then the spiciness of the mayonnaise. It stay hot a long time, huh? You can see it's, a, yeah. it's really... But it's perfectly crisp. Wonderful. Best dish of the last two years. Do you think? Yeah. yeah. yeah.